One, two, three. Hello, this is Ryan Riccatelli with ASNews.net and the Kite Porter Magazine, and we are in Wayman, Hawaii's booth. New kids on the block. We got Sean Richmond. Uh, most of you know Sean. I've interviewed him several times, but it's good to put a face to a name. And uh, <laughs> Sean's going to take us through the product line and tell yep. us we're going to start with He's the board. Try at least, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, you know, first off, we're stoked to be here. You know, first time at Surf Expo, first time on the market. So, good start for Wyman Hawaii. Start us off. We're going to look at our boards, and uh, we got it's called the Blunt, and uh, you know that comes from. The, the blunt, blunt with the green green uh, camo and the little paper in there and the stuff. Don't look at me. It's just no. It's always been loose. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, going on to the boards. So we got a 120, 125, 130, and 135. Yeah. And uh, different widths and stuff. And these are brand new graphics. The ones I've been writing in the videos on YouTube and stuff were beforehand. A little white, but we're going for a more production look, more mainstream. Kind of just crazy graphics. Along with these, we got you know handle and our foot pads. Let's check out the foot pads. Nice and cushy, nice cush uh, pad on there. Nice. We and got so, a surfboard to go along with it. And this thing, it's kind of scary to ride because it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it is a nice uh, looking board. This is a six two. We have a five uh, five two, five eight, and a six two. Let's ding it up before we. Yeah, let's ding it up, right? We got a white one around the side right here too. It's clean. So you went with three fins? It's a thruster. It's actually a Jimmy Lewis board. It's Jimmy Lewis by Wyman Hawaii. Well, you can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong with Jimmy. Jimmy knows what he's doing. For sure. And uh, and so what size is this? This is a 6'2 right here. 6'2 and are there any other sizes in the line? 5'2 and a 5'8. 5'2 and a 5'8. Yeah. And it looks like you got a, um, you can set up you with any configuration bunch. you want to. Yeah. It comes with uh, Jimmy pads and stuff. You got a nice, nice uh, pads on there. Foot straps. These boards, different. As long with the kites, there's different graphics for each size of the board. Uh -huh. So you know, keep that going. Kites 6.5 and 9 and 12 are all different. Um, so it's the whiteboard's right here. If you want to check that one out? It's kind of just classy, you know. Yeah. Now and and let's move on. Let's let's talk about the kites because I know everybody's excited. It. That's, that's what we're focusing on. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what do you want to know? Why don't you take us through the line? Take us through the line. Like I said in the podcast, it's the Rabbit Series kite. We got three sizes, the 6.5, the 9, and the 12. And uh, they're each like a hybrid design, three strut, low aspect kite. And um, each one's graphic up differently, each one's called something different. The 6.5 is called the Gypsy, that's the red one. The 9, uh, the silver one right here, is called the Smoke. And the 12, which is behind everything, is called the Boss. You know, big man boss. <laughs> and uh, right on, on the wall, just that stuff. Um, and we're going for, for simplicity. If you look at our bridles, they're very simple. Nice, nice key rings, easy. Uh, three struts, low aspect. It's got a nice, the kite holds its shape very well. And uh, it's really fast turning kite, very stable. And, and it's interesting, you guys have uh, put graphics on the underside of the kite. Yeah. I think, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as I know, we're the first kite to do come and do that. And I think it adds, you know, we look at the kite all day, might as well have us look at something nice, right? Yeah. What I actually like is the 12, it's hard to see from here, but it's a um, symmetrical design. So when you turn the kite, the whole logo spins with the kite. Oh, wow. So if you do kite loops and stuff, you just watch this logo spinning. So now, uh, what kind of kite are, are these kites best for? All, is it an all around kite or? You know, originally we didn't think of it as like an uh, entry level kite. Um, I still, I think it's a good intermediate to advanced kite, but we have different schools uh, actually teaching on the kite. It's, um, you can slow down the settings and make them, you know, really stable and slow. So I guess for a beginner it's good, but I think it, it's an amazing, it's an amazing wave kite. It pivots really fast and it holds its shape. It won't fall out of the sky if you have it down on the window. And uh, it's a good unhooked freestyle kite as well. Well, let, let's go talk about the bar. Yeah, uh, this is the first the time we've actually been able to see a bar. For sure our bar and it just it kind of holds the whole um simplicity of the of the kites and everything it's really really streamlined you know nothing dangling we have the heat system but something new is this is velcro so when you heat it in you just throw it right there and it doesn't move around anymore um as far as the color white on top and that's bad bad <laughs> <laughs> i like that 
It's actually really easy, you know, you're underwater, you see it white or you it's see true. black, you grab it right away. Um, this is all coated, nice and easy. These, you know, grab that to relaunch the kite. And the release is pretty simple. Yeah. No moving parts, pretty easy to get back in there. Except I can't do it now, right? Uh, kites come with a safety pin or without safety pin. And um, I got right here. The sheath comes off, so you get two in the kite, you know. Change it if you want, different things. And I mean, also some people have addressed the uh, idea of different safety systems since we don't have, we put, you can put your leash here, and that, you know, that's the regular suicide, although it is a hybrid, the kite will depower. But some people have addressed that they want like a spinning leash or a spinning fifth line leash, like something like that. In our kite, you have a line. You can attach to one of these, you run it down through the hole, and you run it down, you have a ring. You put it right here. If you attach to that ring, if you're not gonna unhook, hit this release, your kite's gonna fall out of the sky. So that's just an update on the podcast we did. Simple. Very I simple. like it. Nice bar. Yeah. Well, dude, so you're at the show, getting a good response, or? Yeah, you know, it's first year, and I'm really stoked. I've actually never been here, so just, it's cool yeah. to be here. Yeah, a lot, and, of, uh, lot, going lot, lot going on. But we've had a really good response, and uh, it seems everyone comes in waves, you know? Five minutes, you're kind of relaxing and hiding. The next five minutes, you got 20 people talking to you, so. Awesome. Well, dude, with everything. Um, thanks for your time, and uh, no good luck with everything. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yep. Like